it. So we have like this basic layer, which is the, the, the layer that stays on top of the operating system. Uh, it is written in C++. And usually the C++ developers knows that uh, we, we should use STL, the, the standard template library. We didn't done that because the standard type template li library is a big performance issue. And you don't do a streaming server with performance issues. That's not acceptable. So we ended up writing our own, uh, our own uh, implementation uh, which has pretty much the functionality of, of the STL. It, it was kind of hard and we had uh, our share of bugs, but we fixed it a while ago because uh, we fixed the layer. Uh, and uh, then uh, we uh, also ended up porting that layer on Windows. So we ended up having EA yeah, running both on Windows and Linux. And then it went to FreeBSD and these days we are trying to port it on macOS and so on and so forth. Now on top of that layer, we actually build the message passing system. The message passing system is pre it's pretty much like in VoIP. You are using the, the messages to, to pass the um, oh, to pass the information between modules in the same way that you are using the signaling to pass the information between ends in a VoIP uh, protocol. Um, However, the data are, are uh, processes, uh, processed far more faster. So this is how we ended up with the running on uh, embedded system all the way scaled all the way up to, to high servers. Uh, we did, for example, some tests with um, with eight like a month ago, and we went all the uh, all the way up with uh, 700 uh, RTP calls uh, on the SIP protocol, and of course on SIP, if we don't pass the RTP, we can go up to 5,000 5, or so. But that doesn't make any sense because it's uh, it's only signaling. Another thing was to re to use the right tool for the right job. We split the D8 into into different uh, into different parts so we've been using the C++ for the core of E8 and E8 has been the telephony engine which can be used only for the telephony side and then for the application side which are like voicemail and all the other uh, kind of stuff we've been using PHP why because PHP it's a proto it's a language that is known by a, a huge amount of people in this world it's so easy to uh, to write an IVR in PHP because you have so many people and it's also very easy to debug it it's so much complicated to debug anything in a in a, a high language like C or, or C++ sorry low, low lang language than in a high language like, like PHP. And then people started to really play with E8. And they, we ended up with a very complicated Python interface. And then I had to learn Python, which was kind of, well, hard. Uh, however, um, that Python interface uh, seems to be uh, very, very high in the eight uh, in the eight community. Don't ask me why, because I I don't understand enough of what's going on there. But anyway, another thing was doing software testing. Most of the open source projects don't care about testing. They don't even bother to test their software ever. Um, it's important to have testing procedures even before putting in the in the SVN, CVS, whatever, uh, publishing before publishing the versions, before anything else. I've read a study which says that in the year 2002, US lost almost 60 billion dollars in 2002, not now, because of the bugs in software, and it seems that the software testing helps. Uh, to cut down uh, a third of the, those bugs. Well, we are trying to cut as much as possible by um, developing those layers and fixing the problems just once. We are trying so hard by design to keep E8 uh, on, on the stable side. And we are trying to split into different modules and to not copy the functionality as much as possible in order to make sure that once a piece of code is finished, it's finished, I'm not gonna get back there, I'm not gonna screw it, I'm gonna add the functionality in a different place. Flexibility. Uh, any marketing person will tell you that it means time to market. 
well for uh, software developers uh, may uh, may mean also less trouble uh, it may mean like less uh, uh, not slept nights. It may mean a lot of things, but in the end, it's just a matter of money. In the end, flexibility and quality leads to money. How much time and how much money you spend on getting your project done? That's the most important thing. Because even though we do projects to pay the bills, and we like to do projects to have fun, we just can't afford them. We have to um, be in, into the, at least I'm into the, this job to make money. If I want to be cool or I want to do something else, well, I'm going to go and uh, climb the mountains. I'm not going to be cool playing with, uh, with the telephony engine. I, I, I just can't afford it and my customers can't, can't afford it. Um, thank you, Sharon. This is the address where you can find us. Any questions? Well, uh, as another open source developer that's trying to survive, how do you get funding for all this work? Well, we get funding for, for the people that actually want solutions. We've, uh, since the beginning of uh, uh, 2006, we develop only on request. Basically means that the IX module have been requested by someone because it wanted to do the application on E8 using the IX protocol. The jingle protocol was um, uh, pushed by someone which wanted to interconnect with, uh, with Google Talk, uh, and so on and so forth. For example, the SS7 protocol was re wasn't actually funded, but the SS7 library in E8 is very connected to the ISDN library. And and someone actually paid us to implement the, the new ISDN library because they wanted passive recording system, which, by the way, can be done with it. So um, if funding wasn't a problem, what are your ideas for future enhancements of Jade? Where are you going in your head? We are uh, strongly developing on the Jabber uh, on the Jabber platforms right now because uh, I believe, I personally believe, that uh, voice is not enough anymore these days. We, you have to integrate the services. You have to integrate the services with Instant Messenger. You have to integrate them with additional informations like calendars or address book or God knows what else. And then when you want to uh, go further, uh, of course we we implemented this. S7, we, we want to go even further to implement uh, the, the support for S7 for MAP for US, so the 8 can be, can be used in the mobile networks. And uh, we, we also go for, uh, uh, for video, obviously, like everyone else. It's like the main thing. And since we want to have the Jabber support, it makes sense to have the video, because people are going to use it like in the instant messenger. Now, I think I kind of forget to mention that we have, um, except for the Yate server that I've been keep talking about, there is the Yate client. Uh, Yate client uh, uses exactly the same telephony engine as the Yate server, but additionally, it, it has a, a gra graphical user interface and it, it can be used. One second, I'm, I'm gonna actually show it because of course it runs on Windows. And as silly as it sounds, I, I, I still need Windows because this is what my banks requires. So this is the Yate client as it is right now. We're going to implement the, the Instant Messenger uh, features. Uh, we actually developed the, the, the client in the beginning because we needed for uh, to develop the to um, debug the, the networks that we've been uh, we've been developed. We needed to find out all kind of problems, so we needed to make phone calls in very complicated ways. So, for example, to add an account, you just go to new. You either use the provider settings like free world dial up or iptel.org or whatever, and then you put your username and the password, or you just don't do that and you you put um, you put uh, directly the server of your the the server where you want to connect. It's pretty straight, I would say. And then when you want to make a phone call using that account, you just go here and you pick your account. And that's all. And you make a phone call to any account you want. And if you don't like to do that, if you want to make like a gateway to gateway phone uh, phone call, you just 